Well, hello, family. This is Greg coming to you once again from fatesmessenger.com. You know, when a woman conceives a child, there's a lot that has to take place between the time of conception and the time that she gives birth to that child. She's going to have to alter her lifestyle quite a bit. If she consumes alcohol, she'll probably have to stop consuming alcohol. If she's a smoker, she'll have to stop smoking. If she is on any type of medication, her medications will have to be scrutinized. They'll have to be examined to, to make sure that what she's taking won't harm the baby. Everything that she does between the time of conception to the time of birth of the child is done with the child's best interest at heart, at mind. And I equate that a lot to answer prayer. When we pray and we go before the Lord, according to Mark eleven twenty four, and we believe that we receive our prayer answer, conception takes place. And if we're going to successfully see the answer to our prayer, we're going to have to do some things to increase the chances and to assure that we receive out here externally what we see on the inside of us. We're going, we may have to eliminate some people that we're around that, are, um, that may be harmful to our faith, that may be doubt peddlers, that may be naysayers. Remember, we're, we have to protect the vision on the inside of us. Also remember that what we see on the inside of us, the conception that's taken place on the inside of us, no one else can see. So when it comes to things that look impossible to the world, there may be the temptation from those whom you share your vision with, whom you share your conception with, to say, oh, that can't happen. That, that'll never happen. I, I can't see that, so therefore it can't happen. So again, we're going to have to limit who we allow ourselves to be around because they may harm our baby. They may harm our um, prayer. We have to visit our physician on a daily basis, the great fish physician, the Lord Jesus Christ through his word, to assure that through meditation in that word regarding your answer prayer, that it will grow successfully and develop. And lo and behold, before long, that which you have seen from conception will manifest outwardly where the world can see it. And the manifestation of answered prayer, in my mind, is just as miraculous as the birth of a child. Because you are causing the Word of God, which can't be seen, to be seen by those around you. You are making the Word of God flesh in your life. You are causing an unseen reality through prayer, through conception in your spirit, to become reality for the world to see. And you're creating testimony. You're creating uh, testimony to those around you of how God works, how to conceive, how to give birth to his word. So I want to leave you with that today. I hope that inspired you. And if you haven't done so already, I would encourage you to download a free copy of our ebook, which is in the description box below. Now I wrote this book a couple years ago, just as an inspiration to the body of Christ. I know that there are several of us, I would dare say most of us, are experiencing challenges, and I wrote it to inspire, to encourage, to support, to lend a little bit of support, as I say, to anyone who may be going through situations that they seem to be dire. So I want to encourage you to download a copy if you haven't done so already. And with that, I will leave you, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.